All right, guys, we're just gonna dive right into this one. I've already honed the other side. I've got a uh, bucket of ATF here. <clears throat> and if you're familiar with firearms, you know what this piece is. This is just stuff I had kind of at the ready. So basically what I'm doing is dipping this in the ATF. Coming in here, I'm just swabbing, swabbing in a circle. Okay, let's get some more ATF. Swab in a circle. And then what I've been doing, <clears throat> bringing the ball hone up. As you start into the cylinder, the hone needs to be turning. You can't just shove it in and then hit the trigger and then stop and then pull it out. That's gonna leave vertical lines in the cylinder. What you're trying to do here <clears throat> is create a, a cross hatch pattern and a fresh surface for the new rings to seat into. So the hone has to be turning as it goes in and the, tone, the hone has to be uh, still turning as you pull it out. So here we go. Out. So I have a flashlight. <clears throat> and let's get the camera down here. All right, hang on. Okay, so this is what we're after just the cross hatch pattern. It's smooth. There's actually a little bit of reflection in there. So I believe this is okay. You tell me, I don't know. So I'm not an expert at this. This is not a how-to, this is a how I do. So I think I'm gonna let it rip and move on to the next one. <clears throat> 